so you can see what carbohydrates, what protein, what fats I am currently on as well. Pretty tasty meal. Someone that's not a bodybuilder eating cream of rice, let's see if they actually like it. What's happening YouTube? Sunday the 11th of June, five weeks out today, welcome back. We only filmed the other day and we're back again bringing you more videos. This is just what we do, me and Gareth on the money. I'm now down to 103.7 kilo. We're gonna go to the gym later, so you're gonna see how we look anyway, because we always do rest day rounds. So we're gonna take you that. We might actually use some posing tips today, add something to the video. Um, just a thought, you wanna get involved? About the ice bath? <laughs> I put some trunks on. <laughs> so it's a refeed. So Nave's giving me more food. So we're gonna actually take you through what a refeed day looks like when you've been dieting, when you've been pushing hard, when you need to put the brakes on a little bit and fill back up the tank. Because what people don't realize in, in a prep is it's not all about fat loss. It's about muscle retention. It's about making sure that at the right times you're not just pushing too far and withering away. Because muscle has to, to, to be given something to stick around. It needs to be occasionally filled up and rested. It can't just be plummeted and plummeted and plummeted. Otherwise, you'll just get stringy. You see it all the time. So we've pulled back. Cardio's out today. 12,000 steps. It's quite late. Well, it's not too bad. It's half eight. It's half ten, which is about when I normally eat my first meal. So I'm going to make up my first meal now. We're going to show you every meal as it comes. We're not going to bore you with me sitting and eating all the meals and making all the meals. I've already prepped most of them. So we're going to... Show me as I eat them, to prove that I eat them, because some people on these videos don't know if you actually eat the food. I've seen it on some other people's videos. People comment like, I don't think he actually eats all that. So, and we'll put the macros on as well. We'll put the macros and the calories on the of the meals on, so you can see what carbohydrates, what protein, what fats I am currently on as well. So it should be a good video. Stay tuned and watch this. Let's have meal one. Just chop up a little bit of onion, a few mushrooms. I have this with my eggs, guys. Because this makes your, your meal a little bit more voluminous. Half a really small courgette. A few sprays of fry light on your pan. Seasonings on the veg. Barbecue seasoning. Garlic. And some aromat. To get like seriously, seriously peeled for a show. It's fucking really hard. Like really seriously hard. If you get like semi lean, it's not that hard. But if you get seriously peeled, it's fucking really hard. And because I don't moan and grumble, I just do it. I think then people think it's really easy. It's not, it's really hard. I find it really hard. Half a card of this, 250 grams of egg whites. Crack into eggs. We're gonna season the eggs. I like a little bit of spice on mine, so I'm using some buffalo seasoning delicious fry the bottom once the bottom's fried put it under the grill fry the top how to make an easy omelet because today is a good day we get 65 grams of cream of rice with this meal gareth loves his cream of rice so i need to try i want to try it today make some cream of rice today yeah later on when we get back from the gym shall i make you some cream of rice yeah yeah all right that sounds gareth's taste test on cream of rice When your eggs start bubbling, put them under the grill. And then that will cook the top layer. Cream of rice then. Boiling water first. If you don't put boiling water first, it goes runny. Put a clump or something. Give it a good stir because it'll, it'll clump up a little bit as you stir it. I'm not going to show you making all the meals, don't worry, I had this three times today. Microwave it for a minute, just get a salad ready. So lettuce is like no calories. Weird for breakfast I know, but when you're hungry, okay. I get a little bit of cucumber, again I'm not using excessive amounts. Spring onion. Cream of rice will be solid. So we're gonna mix in some hazelnut praline, a little bit of sweetener. Sorry Reese, this is yours, you stole mine. Some cinnamon in there. Stir that in. Gives it a bit more flavor, because I don't have whey on this. Look at that consistency. 
Give you 100 grams of blueberries. A little squirt of this, salty caramel. Only a little one, and then I put a little bit of cinnamon on top. Now your top of your egg will be cooked. Look at the volume, man. You take this out and plate it up. It's meant to come out neat, but it ain't going to be on the fry. So it's going to look messy. How am I going to do this? Let's try and chop it into bits. That's why egg white is so good as a bodybuilder, because it's, it's so high volume. Like, that's basically just fluffed up all that egg and all it is really just the egg white is pure protein so now with the little extra veggies not a lot of veggies that I put on there just created a pretty tasty meal salt on it seven eight eight grains of salt and I get a little bit of low salt as well One is high in sodium, one is high in potassium. So now my little little combo of sauces that I'll put on my eggs. This is the one, but the lid's a bit broken, so I have to... Bit of sriracha, drizzle of ketchup. Meal one. As follows, will be on the screen. What do you think to that? Look good? Let's eat. Normally this meal would just be the eggs. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Mm. I'm too good at this game. Try this with your eggs. Mushrooms, courgette, a bit of pepper, a bit of onion, sorry, and some salad. So, it's now late morning. We're going to go hit up a few posing rounds I've had a meal we're going to see how we look after that meal flush a bit of blood around get a bit of practice in because you should be practicing as much as possible in prep it's a nice day so we're going to get some steps in after that eat a meal and then go food shopping I'll show you the second meal when we get to it I'm looking forward to this one we're going to have a quick look at the physique do a few rounds this is what I usually like to do on rest days um, come in Spend about just 20, 30 minutes posing, hard posing, getting some blood around the body, getting some nutrients around the body, especially on a refeed day, seeing how my body's looking, seeing how we're responding. I'll send some pictures to Nate as well, and um, we might talk through a little bit as well on the, on the posing, on the video. As you can see today, it's the thing that's cool about refeeds. It's just literally took my clothes off. I'm a little bit warmer in body temperature, but even now, before I've even posed, veins starting to come out, body starting to tighten up. And the reason that that is, is with the higher carbohydrates that we've been having, the glycogen in the muscle is filling up more. And with that, there's less space between the muscle and the skin. So the muscle is pushing harder on the surface of the skin, which means you can see more detail, which is often why when you flatten off, you maybe don't look as detailed, striated, as you do when you're fuller. So that's why these lines are starting to now come back through as my body freshens up. Do some posing. So this will be it. So as you can see, I'm, I'm dripping, I'm sweating. Gareth just said to me, Jesus, you're, you're dripping, you're sweating. That's the point, right, guys? Make your posing hard in your practice, because on stage, it is not going to be easy. If you're working in the gym and you're getting conditioned to this, on stage for me, this is going to be a breeze. Yeah, so remember that. I'm just going to go through a couple of things that I like to do in classic poses to maybe make them a little bit more classic than your normal standard bodybuilding poses that you may see. So some little ways that you can do things. Now, 
When we're doing classic poses, a lot of the difference is the angles. The ways that you face, the ways that your hips are positioned, just the movement of the body is different. You're not actually doing much or squeezing much different, you're just positioning yourself in a better place. So, for example, this would be what a front door bicep as a bodybuilder would look like. Quite front on, showing that X frame. Now with me, with a classic twang, I like to use my hips, angles more. So what I'll do is rather than standing square on with my legs facing forward, I'll put an angle. I'm putting one hip out, I'm showing a little bit more of a different direction to my waist. My waist is not front on, it's side on. So it means that now that my waist is side on, it's smaller and my hips are accentuating that by pushing my quads out, yeah? Now from here, I can go into puffing the lats out on a vacuum. Now what that does instead, as you can see instead of this, for me, slightly more tapered waist, slightly more aesthetic pleasing look with the lats and the upper body, and overall just a more pleasing on the eye shape for classic. So that's an easy way you can make that shot. Now if you notice when we do the side tricep, yes I'll hit a bodybuilding side tricep here, but I'll quickly move into a classic using the waist and the hips, showing a different twang. Very good for the classic physique. Again, lat spread, very square on. Here for a bodybuilder, whereas for me, classic, I like to put one leg out, again change the shape, and just have a different twang. So you can see there, there's not that much difference in the way that we pose, it's just adding different angles accentuating different things like the hips exaggerating and things like that to create different shapes on the body and that's how we classic pose we'll do a little bit more of this in the future but we've got a busy day to get to and some meals to eat so we're gonna head off and start cracking on with bits and catch you in the next meal this is what we do when you're a bodybuilder got to be on it one tip i always say to all my clients is that if you are on some sort of meal structure and you're not on macros, take a prep meal with you everywhere that you go, so you're never stuck short. The amount of situations I've been in where I could have had to miss a meal or wait a meal, but I've always got one with me, so it's not a problem. So in this meal today, it would normally just be the 200 grams of salmon and veg. It's a high day today, so we've actually got 400 grams of potato in this meal as well. So this is 200 grams of salmon, it probably stinks the car out, 400 grams of potato, and some veggies be on the screen so with your meals i get salmon on a rest day and i always try to incorporate different types of protein within my diets and my clients as well just because different protein sources come with different micronutrients and it's very good to have a wide variety so i like to get my protein from fish oily fish beef red meat white meat like chicken turkey eggs and get a variety of that so I'm not just getting it all from chicken I'm not just getting it all from whey I'm spreading out the micronutrients I actually think that's far far better for you to have that little bit of variety in your diet I really do let's go buy some groceries hard to get hold of the liquid egg whites so got to be quick this tastes sensational garlic tick trick to make your meals taste better things like big normally i buy like big things like bags of rice and stuff but obviously i'd buy them some weeks not others so i've got potatoes this time pick what seasoning you want to use oh. I don't know do you know what is really good that i haven't got oh here we go that's what i want the new york buffalo i was running out of that spot or Smokehouse rub. Let's try some of this. That's how spicy it's got chili on it. Lightly salted rice cakes. They are boring, but they're a good alternative to rice. If I don't want to cook rice, I'll eat these instead. So I am actually gonna have some today. Yeah, we're gonna get I'm gonna get myself a little treat today actually. The best flavour is the lemon one. Oh, how can they do this to me? There's no lemon rains. 
What am I going to do with a mango? A blue, blue raspberry? Disgusting. Ugh. Fuck that. We'll stop and get a coffee on like that. Goat cereal, by the way. This is like crack cocaine. Unbelievable. You're buying oats. I'll just get a small box of it. Get the Quaker oats, trust me. They are so much better. I don't know if that's a prep thing or not, but this is silly. Just the best oats. Favourite thing in the world, ice cream. I love ice cream so much. It's ridiculous. So much. It upsets me that I can't have it once a week. In off season, every off fun meal, once a week. I just have a tub of ice cream. I love it. Here we go, this is what I like to add. So, these are where I get my little sweet sweetness. Salted caramel's good and vanilla's good. I get some vanilla ones, I think. And then, this is really nice. I like a squirt of this on a meal, so I'm gonna get some more of this as well. Some zero calorie items. Help with the diet. Normally look like would be some turkey, some beef, some salmon and things. That's literally all I would buy. I've just missed the meat out and I've already bought some at home. So that came to about, that one was just under 30 pound. Just trying to figure out how much I roughly spend on food, I reckon a week at the minute, my current diet. Tried to shop between Asda and Aldi, so it's not as expensive, but I reckon I probably spend about 350 to 400 pound a month, I'd say, on food um, in prep. Which I don't think is too bad, because if you consider that none of that is going out for food, that's all preparation of six meals per day. I don't, I don't think that's too bad, is it? But yeah, that, maybe that's about what I spent. Anyway, just on top of some veggies, we're gonna go home now. We are a couple of hours further in time. It's mag just magic, this recording thing, isn't it? <laughs> you miss out all the boring bits and see all the good bits. So we have just been sat cracking out some work. Um, it's a good opportunity on a Sunday on a rest day to get a lot of the stuff done that you obviously have more time to do when you're not training. So for me, that's sign-ups. Um, we've got, I've just finished a new sign-up. Just got a lad joined from the Netherlands, actually, which is very good. So we're gonna be inviting Max to the team. Max an advanced client. He's come to me. He's got a holiday in five weeks when he at lean four. And then after that, it's a growing phase for Max, like I say, he's from Netherlands, which is cool, because we're getting all different clients from all different areas of the world. So, it's exciting. So we've just got Max set up on the systems. We'll send over his voice messages later to get him all set up on the team and know what he needs to do. But for now, we are going to have another meal, which is cream of rice. So I'm gonna make my cream of rice meal I'm gonna make Garrison cream of rice as well because he's never had cream of rice. He's gonna test it for the first time and see what he thinks. Someone that's not a bodybuilder eating cream of rice, let's see if they actually like it. So you lot can see what cream of rice is actually like, whether it's just us making it up or if it is actually genuinely banging. Got a few more steps to tick off and finish for the day. And then it's just the last two meals to wind down. Feet up, chill, rest, go to bed, and get, get ready for tomorrow. There's not much you need to do on these refeed days apart from eat up, do a bit of posing, do a bit of movement, and do a bit of work. So this is exactly what a day would look like for me. You got it. What are you saying? Out of 10? Like, solid 8.5. <laughs> I really like it. Look at that. Mm. Unreal. Unreal. Only a small amount, but he loves it. Look at that. Way pace is a winner. <laughs> we are back for meal three. Just had the same as... This Gareth. This is 65 grams of cream of rice, 40 grams of whey, 100 grams of blueberries, and 20 grams of dark chocolate and some salt and cinnamon. So easy meal three, not massive, nice though. I'm gonna scoff this, enjoy this, and stick a bit of YouTube on. And then I think we'll probably have one more meal before we go out for steps. So I'm gonna catch you. We're gonna skip, you'll see me in a couple of hours before we go out to do steps. Oh, would you look at that? Magic. We have been doing stuff, to be fair, just general boring, tidying, washing up, all that kind of jazz for the last couple of hours. 
watch quite a lot of YouTube. I haven't done any more steps yet because I was already on 10,000. So I'm going to finish off last 2,000 after this meal, before my last two meals. But this is why you get your meals prepped in the day, guys. Because I've been able to sit around and chill and not do much. And when I need to eat a meal every couple of hours, I can sit here, I can eat my meal, I can relax. And then I can go about my day. So it makes it easy that I've had all this accessible to me as I go. So this next meal, I'll show you what we have. This is 175 grams of chicken, 150 grams of mixed veg, and then in here, I just did it because I prepped it all earlier, it's easier so I don't have to think about it all day, is rice cakes. So sometimes I'll have jasmine rice, like you'll see with my next meal when we come back from the walk, it's uh, mince and rice. Sometimes I'll have rice, sometimes I'll have rice cakes. It very much depends on what I fancy with the meal. I fancied a rice cake meal today, so these will take me a little bit longer to eat. Especially when I'm sat around a lot today. Like It's, it's, there's, it's not that entertaining, you know, sitting and, and snacking on one of them after the other. It's a little bit nicer when I'm sat around on a rest day, so I've just opted for them today. We're going to tuck into this. I'm actually going to have to nip off and get some sriracha before I eat this, because you can't be eating that about sriracha. And then we're going to scram this. So, we are just out for some steps. This is now where I like to finish off the rest of my steps, really. When I've got two meals left, it's not too much later on in the day. And I can break up your meals. If you're on either a high day, or you're on someone, or you're on an off-season, or even in a cut, it's a good idea as well. It's not as important. When your meals are bigger and you've got a lot to digest, doing a little bit of movement, an activity around and after your meals is going to help it digest it's going to get you ready for the, for the next meal it's going to start off that digestive process so getting out doing a bit of activity getting a bit of walking is quite important on your refeed so rather than doing your steps in big chunks try spread them out after your meals you'll find that it helps your meals shuttle around more sit better so we're just going to finish off the last of the steps now while i do that i'll get back to my clients and voice message them and, and get back to any messages that need to be done and then it'll be home last second to last meal make the last meal and chill yo man let me know what the score is today then let me know how you're feeling let me know how yesterday went obviously in terms of meals if you've been not feeling the best and then let's see if we can make a, a bit of a plan for getting you back on track on monday brother meal five then meal five let me get it out what we got there we go oh fresh as it comes straight out the fridge this is about to get down. What sauce should we do on this? Ketchup, I think. This one is, I'll double check it and write it down, but off the top of my head, I think this one is 80 grams of rice, 175 grams of 5% beef and veggies. Couldn't be more simple than that, beef and veg, but I just fancied rice with my, my beef today, so that's why I did it that way around. And I think we're gonna do a bit of no added sugar ketchup on this. Oy. Final meal then. We've just been chilling and watching, or oh, I have, shit ton of Marvel, because there ain't no better to do on the rest day. Eh? Now it's time for the, the final meal of the day, which is oats. However, I like to do half oats, half cream of rice, because it makes a good texture. So I'm gonna make that up. So this has in it 60 grams of oats, 40 grams of core. Then to make it a bit more voluminous, put a bit of baking powder in that. I'll actually put this in the freezer for about half an hour as well before I eat it, but I will show you that. And then I'm gonna do all the washing up, yay! Okay, stir that around. See how much water I've put in that? Loads. And the reason for that is the volume. And now, you microwave for like three minutes at a time, take out stir, take out stir, take out stir, and I just keep doing that until it's the consistency that I want. I'll show you when it's done, I won't show you all the stir.